Hello everyone, I'm Brie and welcome back to my channel. So over the Easter weekend, I read a few books that kind of go together and so I wanted to talk about it. So in 2013, I heard about a book called Anna and the French Kiss and I want to say John Green was the one who said something about it because every time I think about this book, I always think about he like recommended it or something. I could be wrong and I could, I don't know. But um, anyways, so I put it on my uh, wish list on, pa on paperback swap in 2013. I still am like 40 something out of 70 people that are wishing for the book. Um, and then I kind of just didn't really think about it again. Uh, I don't I don't know why, um, it's because it's been on my wish list for that long and I, I honestly have no idea because usually if I really want to read a book and I put it on my list, I get sort of impatient and so I if I really want to read it I'm just like oh, whatever I'm just gonna go get the book so after I got my library card I went to the different sections to look for books and I just was getting very overexcited and I saw this book which I had had on my list uh, for almost two years now on my uh, paperback swap list and I was like oh you know I should just get it and read it because it's been on my list for so long and I'm not actually buying it um, so you know and I love Paris, so. So I got the book and I read it really quickly. Um, I loved it so much. I was so excited. When I finished it, I was like, why is it over? I loved it so much. Um, and so I loved it so much that I got on my really handy um, public library app and I checked to see if my local public library had the second and third book that go kind of with this it's not like a it's not like a continuation of the story each each book has its own story um but they kind of intertwine which is cool so you can still see the characters uh, a little bit later on anyways so i got so excited um that i ordered the other two that go along with it so this first book is about um, a girl named anna and a boy named sinclair they are seniors at an american school in paris um which can you just take a moment of silence because I would like to live that life. I want to be her. So let's just take a moment of silence. This is not my life. <laughs> Whatever. The second of the three books is called Lola and the Boy Next Door. And it is of course um, about a girl named Lola and it is about a boy named Cricket, which I've never heard anybody named Cricket before so it was a new experience for me. But um, it takes place in San Francisco, obviously. I mean, it's Golden Gate Bridge. In this book, Anna and St. Clair from the first one are very present, which I liked a lot. Uh, because Lola and Cricket were not my favorite couple out of the three. And I would I would read it again, like I would reread it. It just wasn't my favorite. I didn't relate uh, with, the, with the main girl um, as much. I related to Anna because she really likes movies, I really like movies, she really likes British boys, I really like British boys, I mean what more. Um, so this one would probably be my second out of the three, so this one would be my third favorite, this is my second favorite, and the third book within the three books is my number one favorite out of them, Aya and the Happily Ever After, and this one is my favorite out of the three. I love this one so much, like so much. Um, I was actually very disappointed when I finished it, not because it wasn't good, but because I was like, what now? Um, it's so good. But it's about a girl named Aya and a boy named Josh, and Josh um, is in the first book as well. I'm not really going to talk about the storylines because they're so good. You'll love them if you haven't read, which you probably have read them because like I said, I'm very late to this party, um, but that's okay. Better late than never. If I were to rate them individually though, I would give Anna and the French Kiss four to five. I would give Lola and the Boy Next Door 3.5 out of five. And then I would give Aya and the Happily Ever After five out of five because I love this book. I related the most to her, which is why I love it so much. Um, yeah. So all in all, I would say these books are re-approved. And you should check them out if you've read them, uh, all three of them. Definitely leave in the comments below which one is your favorite and why. And if there are any other books that you recommend that I read, because most likely I'm late to that party too. 
If you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up and you should subscribe to this channel. I just got my library card. So that means there are quite a few book reviews coming um, very soon. So I will see you next time. Bye.